All right, I'm gonna get my yeast started before I do anything. I heated up some uh, spring water. You gotta have more than four ounces. This is eight ounces. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Um, our yeast is uh, Lauvin BM 4x4. We're gonna wait for this to drop. It says to uh, keep the yeast between 104 and 109 degrees before you put it in. So once it's uh, under 109, we'll dump it in this glass and then we'll stir it in. All right, once it's uh, between 104 and 109 degrees, we want to dump our water in our container. Okay, and then we want to add our yeast. And we want to get our mead ready. And uh, we want to have, try and have it done within the within 30 minutes. We don't want to leave this sit for longer than 30 minutes. Today we're going to make mead. Just regular old mead out of honey and water and yeast. We'll make four gallons. We need three pounds of honey for every gallon of water. We're making four gallons of mead. So we got 12, 12 pounds of honey. Don't matter how you mix it. And this is quick mead, so you ain't gotta wait a year to drink it. I'm gonna add a gallon of water. Then I'm gonna add my honey, then I'm gonna add the rest of my water, and then I'm gonna add my yeast. And I'll show you what kind of yeast here in a minute. It's gonna take that forever. And this is clover honey, by the way. You can use any type, and it just tastes different. A torch, you should get the torch and just warm it up. It'll process quicker. You think? Yeah. What? I think you could dump it in. I just cleaned this table yesterday. This is quicker. <laughs>
happens. Put water in these and shake them up and get the rest of the honey out. It's really this simple. You can fast forward the video if you don't want to watch me pour four gallons of water into a glass jug. But three ingredients. But if you are going to use uh, filtered water, make sure it's good filtered water. I use spring water every time I use spring water. It's what I recommend, but some people have filtered sink water, whatever. Go buy spring water. It's the best. Before you add your yeast, you want to mix this up really good. And they sell a tool at uh, the brew tinsel store, but we kind of made our homemade one here. Put some zip ties on the end of a, uh, a driveway marker. We put it put it on a drill. Start. It works really good. But either way, you want to stir this up. Going to add it in. To get it all. sanitize this. I'm going to fill it up with water. I'm going to bung it. I'm going to let it sit for, for at least two weeks. All right, it's it's been two weeks and I'm testing it out and it's still it's still doing its job. I want to taste it though. See how strong it tastes. Um, I'm going to I don't think I need to add any more honey or any. I'm going to stir it up, aerate it a little bit. I am going to taste it, see how strong it is now. Um, but once I stir it up and aerate it, I'm going to put it back in the closet for two more weeks. All right, I just took a drink of this, and it is amazing. It don't taste very strong as far as alcohol goes, 
but it is delicious. Um, I'd say two more weeks. I'm not going to add no more. It, it tastes really sweet, so it's got enough sugar for that yeast to be eating. And, and I keep seeing the air bubbles go through the airlock, so the yeast is still doing its job. Two more weeks, and I say she's ready to bottle. All right, so we let our meat sit for longer than 30 days. We want to move it to our secondary. So we're going to move it from here to here without trying to shake it up. Because there's probably some sludge in the bottom. Let's see what it tastes like. It's really dry. Really dry. So we're going to move it to the secondary. We're going to stop the yeast from making alcohol. And then we're going to sweeten it up some more with some honey. All right, so basically we're using our auto siphon. We got our secondary lower than our bucket, which if you've ever done this, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're new, this is how you do it. You just give it a couple pumps. Auto siphon, kind of get something to hold it against the sidewall. You don't want to be on the bottom, and you want your secondary lower than your bucket, and you just want to move it. But once it gets to about that much in the bottom, you don't want to put that in your secondary. I have a third bucket that I used for that, and then I let that yeast settle. That way I don't get that yeast in here and it, it ain't all cloudy and nasty with a bunch of sediment on the bottom. All right, so we want to stop the yeast and then we want to sweeten it because I like it sweet. We could leave it like that and it just gets stronger over time the longer it sits. And you, you could let this sit for up to a couple of years and then it just, then it get clearer and clearer. I like mine that look like that. I'm uh, adding some potassium sorbate, which is it's called stabilizer. I'm going to add a tablespoon or a teaspoon and a half. Then I'm going to stir that up. That's supposed to stop the yeast from uh, turning this into out more alcohol. And then I'm going to add this. I'm going to stir it up with the drill. And then we're going to let it sit for a couple days. And then we're going to bottle it. Got a rag or something, this motherfucker's throwing honey everywhere. Uh -uh. Fuck your rag, bitch. Just fucking throwing honey everywhere. There you go, mix it right there. It's a big old glop of honey on the bottom. So we got our, our secondary here. Everything's settled. We gave it a few days. We want to now transfer it to our bottling bucket. So take our auto siphon. Get it started with a couple. Couple pumps. Yeah. Let's scoot this over here. There we go. A couple pumps to get it started. Come up some. Oh shit, did I stir it up? Alright. I'm going to get something to hold this in here. So I ain't got to hold it here the whole time. But once you move it to the, the bottling bucket, you can bottle it. Alright, so you want to get a bottling bucket. You get you one of these bottle wands like three or four bucks buckets like seven dollars something like that um, I got two different kinds this is what we re-sweetened here it's kind of cleared up but 
if you like it dry and you let it go longer, this is this is went a lot longer. This is a lot more clear as far as the looks go. Um, but it looks like white wine basically. Tastes better if you like honey. Um, we're gonna fill up all these bottles and then I'll show you how many we get. All right, so we're gonna finish bottling them. We're gonna call that a wrap. That's all it takes. You can make this in 30 days. Um, it's good stuff and it gets you drunk. The longer you let it sit, the stronger it gets. And if, if you wanted to, you could use some uh, turbo or something with your yeast. You don't have to. As long as you keep it up to temperature, that yeast will turn that honey into alcohol. Uh, that's it. Check out our other videos.